Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton Hurst. And today's happy is gonna be actually working with some faux botanical or uh, yeah, faux botanicals, meaning we're gonna use some artificial succulents. So the artificial, bad word, faux botanical is the new catchphrase. So anyway, this is actually for a job we have coming up in um, an office, a contemporary office. Believe it or not, we'll be using these again, but they actually have these huge sculptures of this kind of wood throughout the office. It's a multiple office area. So we're gonna let this tie together and got black and black tables that these are gonna go on top of. But first off, we wanna give a little shout out. We had some special guests pop in the store today from Mississippi, from uh, Alag uh, Ang Angola, Angela, uh, I'm saying it wrong, A-N-G-U-I-L-L-A, -L -L Rolling, I know Rolling Fork, Mississippi. And we had Ms. Patterson, Ms. Laura Patterson, Ms. Hazel Ann Stamford, Ms. Becky Diffie, and Ms. Lottie Durst stop by and see us. Good. You know, they Did they end come? up going to Scallions for lunch? That's where I suggested. I don't know. They're supposed to come. If they got done with lunch, I would invite them to come back and pop in on us. But they okay. may still be at lunch. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and glue this foam down. This is hard star foam. It's not the typical Sahara stone that we use. And I've already pre-cut it, and it's just going to go right into these ceramic containers. So we have lots of friends on today from Rhode Island, Florida, Maryland, Mississippi, South Carolina, Texas, Colorado, awesome. Barbados, Virginia, Australia, New Jersey, Oklahoma, Michigan. Great. So now that I've done that, I'm going to take that right there. I put a little bit of the glue there. And this is the, the glue pan that we're using. We use glue chips in this instead of a glue gun. A, it doesn't get as hot, so it doesn't burn me as bad when I burn myself. And then it also um, sticks better too to me. So I've all went back and separated my succulents into two separate piles. I'm going to make these kind of like mirrored images. Won't be exact, but we let, it's going to go down a long table, so it has some symmetry to it when we do it. I'm actually going to go back now, and we're going to insert some of these wooden pieces into here. I'm just going to lay it out first before we do it, just so I kind of know where I'm going with it. So how is everybody else out there? Everyone's doing good. Good. We have friends from Fayetteville, Little Rock, Louisiana. Perfect. Conway, Hot Springs, Georgia, What's Iowa. They ask, how are you today? Well, I'm kind of broke a sweat today trying to get all this together, apparently. Apparently. Apparently, yeah. Run up down the stairs. Miss Kathy said she was so afraid that we weren't going to be on today. No, we're running a little late. I oh, forgot, did you not? I forgot to post until like two minutes ago. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I was Sorry. running late because I had a customer call to purchase an order for a bride, and so yeah. I was running late, too. And but I was running late because I had to customers. get that party ready for them to take out so they waiting on mm -hmm. us. Oh, did they take it? Good. They did take it. We hope they took it. So we now hope. I'm going to go ahead and put the bark in or the I'm going to bring branches. it down so y'all can see. Huh? I'm going to bring it down so they can see it. Okay. Perfect. So <laughs> Ms. Barbara asked if I'm awake today. <laughs> I'm awake today. Yesterday, I just, mm, I needed some iced tea or something. Some. I got you an iced tea yesterday. You did. I drank it after. Uh, oh, you didn't drink it before. Okay. Uh -huh. So there's that. We have friends from Wales, Romania, Wales, Romania. Oh my goodness. Ohio, awesome. Athens, Virginia. Lots of friends. Maine. Oh, cool. Oh, Miss Terry asked, how's your hand today? It's good. No band-aid. No so. band-aid. So anyway, so let's go back and do this one. And we'll get this part of the process out of the way hopefully you know this hard foam seems to hold better on bulkier stuff the traditional hard green star foam miss Susanna Finch said she's first time live today she said she assisted you many years ago in Colorado at an AIFD symposium she did her she as um, was a was a, a teacher with the University of, of Las Vegas, and she's pretty awesome. We had a great time. I actually was doing a national stage program, and it was so funny. We were at the airport being picked up, and there was this passel of kids. I mean, just 
not kids, they were grown adults. But anyway, they were standing there and they were talking about something. And I heard flowers and I said, oh, what are y'all here for? And they said, we're here for the AIFD National Convention. And I said, oh, really? She said, yeah, we're so excited. There's so many programs going on. And I said, yeah, there are. And they said, uh, I said, how would y'all like to help with one? And they go, well, what do you mean? I said, well, I'm actually presenting one. Would y'all like to come and help me backstage? And they, let me tell you, they were awesome. They did, they were terrific. So they helped me out a ton. So anytime you do something that, that you kind of bond with those people forever because that's, you know, helping you out. So anyway, that's where I met Miss Susie. There you go. Yep. It's one of those things, no matter where you are and whatever you do, you always remember that. And Can you make, say a budget for this arrangement or since it's for someone you can't? I could if I added it up. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. All of our silks, of course, are at 50% off. So that's going to help this customer a lot because yes, all we're really going to have to do is you know do our sale part now what i'm not going to do today is i'm not going to put the moss in first for me especially when i'm using bulkier stems like succulents or thicker stems like that it gets really hard sometimes for us to, to make it go oh that one jumped to its death that's okay because i can fix it at the end um it makes it harder to me when i push through the foam it makes it not be a good connection on in the foam so would, someone asked what are these um, branches and where can you get them these branches are i believe they're a variety of manzanita bleached manzanita stripped or um, sandblasted manzanita branches they come from uci or you can easily buy them from tipton hurts as well i don't we don't have this on our happy um group stuff happy group things and we also don't have the little glue pellet chips Oh, we so we need to, to add, add both those. Yeah, because people ask about the glue pellets. Yeah, they do. All so the we'll time. we'll work on that, y'all. My yeah. bad. So sorry. Yeah. What are you dipping these in? That's pan glue. If someone asked what kind of wood. Did you set it? I, I it's believe it's a variety wood of of um, sandblasted manzanita. I believe that's correct. We have friends watching from Dubai, from the Philippines. Oh, awesome. Someone asked, what's in the pan? That's it's, the glue. That's the glue. Friends from Delaware, from McCroy. Mecca of the world, center of the world, McCroy, Arkansas. That's right. Say that again? McCroy, the center of the world. Yeah, duh. Of course. <laughs> How much is the bag of wood? I should know this because we sell it uh, all the time. It's in that little mesh bag. Right there, that's the bag. Sorry. We're so proficient. $32. $32. Can silks be ordered online? Oh, definitely. But we don't have a lot of our silks online. Like oh, stems. can they be ordered online? Oh, uh, yeah. We need to. We, we have so long as That's silks. another part of our list, huh, Christina? Yes, that's true. We'll work on that. We'll work on it's that. It's all a work in progress. But if you do see a silk that you want or you want to know a price, just call us or yeah. message us and we'll get back with you and yep. let you know. Like we had someone the other day when we were doing all that. Um, now this is grass, various of grass. I'm actually gonna put that in the top of this. So we have a viewer, Miss Sandy, and she's new to the site. She asked, what is the happy group? Because you said it's not on our happy group. Um, well, well, that's what we call ourselves here for those that are new to the to viewing. We call it because I call it happies. We're all, we all th this time of the day is our happy time. And so people that watch have become very regular or part of our family, what we call our happy family. And so we always say happy family, happy this. So that's- But our world. happy- Happy stuff. He said happy group, but it's really called our happy picks. Yeah. It's on our website and it's a lot of the containers and different things that Mr. Chris has used throughout the videos. Yeah, people send to, send to ask, well, well, how much is that? Or can I buy that? Or and there's where all that came from. So someone asked, what are you cutting the silk stems with? Up, oh, our cutter that we've, our cutter that we've done tons of. They're 139, 149. 149. And they should be in this week. We have three people on the wait list and I ordered are a few in? more. Or do they already ship them? I They've already they ship shipped, them. but I haven't gotten them at my desk yet. Yeah. But they are, that's gotta be one of the things that have sold the very most. Yeah. Everyone wants those. So is that glue from Oasis? 
Uh, the glue chips are from Oasis. Are from yes. Oasis. It comes in a bag. It almost looks like butterscotch candy to me. <laughs> I relate everything to food. So someone asked, do we sell the stem cutters? Yes. Yes, yes, yes we sir, do. we do, Mr. Bob. So there's, oh, I need to add my moss. So what I thought we would do now is go back and use this moss. This is super moss. And it's a variety of moss. It's got a little bit of Spanish moss, ranger moss, two colors of Spanish moss. So it would give us a little bit of variety. I bet I can get this with one bag though. I bought two bags down. They so, wants to know the bag is da -da -da -da, $21. So someone said, how many pieces of wood are in a bag? Is it like 15 stems? Uh, I think it's by the weight. Oh, is it by the weight? Okay. Because sometimes it'll be like but a But all big... of this came from one bag, right? Correct. Okay. Yep. So now let's go back and we're just gonna, one thing about the glue sticks, the glue pellets, it leaves what I call spider webs. So you need to go back and take, or either you can take a, a hair dryer with heat and it'll just pop right off, or you can actually just take your hand and pull it off as well. So we have someone that asked, um, can, I, can they melt glue sticks? You can melt glue sticks. Um, definitely can melt glue sticks. Um, they're a little bit more clear than a glue pellet, but it gets really hot. I mean, glue sticks or glue gun gets a lot hotter, and I don't know about y'all, but I've burnt the mess out of my hand before over the years, uh, quite a bit actually. And so I really prefer using a glue pan. Yeah, so Miss um, Gwen responded to Miss Mary and said that she does. She uses the Gorilla Glue Sticks. Yeah. So um, someone asked, do we sell the pick machines? Pick machines. I guess the things that make the picks the to go down. The old school pick machine? I'm going to take that off. I don't like that much in there. I don't let's, either. Let's just do one. There we go. Okay. Miss Deborah said, hello from California. She hopes that Miss Christina got some rest and that Mr. Chris got a tetanus shot. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Nah, whatever. So we have friends from Wyoming, Illinois. Perfect. We have lots of friends. Even someone said, and uh, there are so many comments today, but... Someone said, it's just crazy how we have so many people from so many different places all watching one video at, oh. at one time. Oh, it's just, we're so blessed and so happy. So now let's go back. It looks like my glue pan has... What? I did, well, I didn't plug new. it up because oh. remember last time we did it, it blew the circuit. Yeah, it did. Well... So we're just going to have to make this one without the glue pan and, and then I'll go back to go and back. do it later. Yeah. Okay. Because, look guys, it's that's there. So... I need to wire that one in there too. So I'm gonna get the glue pin out of the way. Duh, that's what it looks like. The reason why is because honestly, the last time we did it, it kept blowing the circuit because apparently it we don't have mess. great circuits down here and it wasn't very much fun. So, so we're all not gonna need these two, so I'm gonna get rid of those. So is the stem cutter only for silk flowers? Uh. You only use it for silk flowers. I use right? it sometimes like for big branchy things you know Christina sometimes we'll have like those big blooming branches oh right mm -hmm. I'll use it for that but in general I don't use it for like especially for tender flowers or tent that need a long clean cut because it, it's not gonna be a long clean cut it's gonna kind of are these arrangements up. mostly southwestern designs I you don't do all kinds I of don't designs. know that succulents are considered as much southwestern design anymore like they used to be but they're considered more just contemporary design. Succulents are kind of the big it plant now, especially with millennials. And so they all tend to, and we'll take that off and lay that back on top. So you layer one on top of that one. So someone asked, is that an electric skillet? It is an electric skillet. It probably fried some chicken at one time. So. Miss Cynthia said we need an electrician. That Elect is probably true. <laughs> Miss Beth said this is her first time watching live. We definitely need an electrician. We need a lot of things. <laughs> we need a lot, <laughs> a lot of things, things. y'all. We need a we lot need of a help. a lot of help. Miss Gail said, looks like my electric frying pan recycled. It, it, that's exactly what it is. Oh, lost one. I got to come here and get it. Hang on. Miss Linda said um, that she and one of her other friends, Miss Linda, need one of those cutters. They're pretty all The reason why I like them is because, honestly, over the years, using a regular 
wire cutters, it kills my wrists now. I mean, I get like carpal tunnel from it, especially if we're really, 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 really busy. So this has kind of been a lifesaver for me. So Miss Pam asked, how much is the orange flowers? Maybe the one that's an orange succulent. Um, we took all I the took, price Believe off. it or not, I was trying to think I was going to be smart today and take all the prices off so it wouldn't take so long. So, um, and uh, put them all in a pile, and that's how we're going to charge the customers what we use. Yes. But you were saying that they were between $8 and $32? Yeah, they're all over the board. I mean, very much. We have friends from South Carolina, New Jersey, awesome. Brooklyn, New York, North Florida, San Francisco. More friends from Alabama, Kentucky, and they're getting thunderstorms today. Well, we got we got a pretty good storms yesterday, didn't we? That's right. Miss Donna said that she wants to call for one of those cutters and a bag of driftwood. Okay. And if you just call um, 666 three 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 they'll transfer you to me and i can help you with that or you can just message us on facebook yeah whatever works Sorry. what is the best way to clean this when it gets dusty um you actually can use canned air canned air there you go yeah so we're getting close we have friends from ireland missouri michigan maryland you know what i think i'm going to add Nah, we need it here. So what we would do back, when we'll, we we'll get the glue pan back on, we'll go back and lay this on top just to add more texture into this. Kind of fun. Miss <laughs> Linda said she looked for banana lasagna pudding recipe last night. <laughs> you know the our some of our happy family that stopped by from Mississippi today. They asked me, now where's that place with the fried pies uh, uh. and when I, when I told them I was like oh it's just right down the street because I thought they were talking about Burgess at first and it didn't register they were talking about McGee and me oh so I told Burgess them Burgess. Fried pies? oh yeah I'll they're known they're for their fried, fried pies I, I bet they're good oh they are my, my family likes them okay well not me but I'm like well, just pass the test then yep hopefully they liked it yeah yeah, they were going to try to, I told them to come on back, come on back, and we'd put them on air with us. Well, that's what my mom said. You should let them be. I did. I offered to. And they were like, oh, we'll try our best. I'm like, mm-hmm. Well, they went to Scallions for yeah. lunch, so maybe they'll stop back yeah, by. Maybe they'll stop back by. Maybe they're camera shy like me. Well, that's probably true. Um, we have lots of friends saying that they love the succulent mm -hmm. arrangements that would make a perfect housewarming gift. Yeah, let me add a little bit more down here. Oh, and I forgot this one. So I'm going to insert. Miss Donna said that she uses a damp paintbrush to clean her faux succulents. Probably that's a great idea. The way you can get. Do succulents need water if they're fresh? You know, that's a misconception. They really don't need a lot of water. Actually, they rot. So they're very low maintenance. So that's why they're such. Oh, we got one falling off. Up. Oops. Um, that's why they're so popular right now is because they are kind of low maintenance but they really don't take much water at all they're actually kind of in the cacti family so anyway so we would line that up down the table i have to redo this one so it'd be continuous and it's like a 10-foot table see i don't know what this is for so i'm you're going to find out Monday. I know. Oh, oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I didn't go to that, but I you know get, what you're talking about. You get to find out Monday, so anyway. so Those are so cool. Yeah, so this is faux botanical succulents. It went down so well. And that's our today's happy. There you go. Man, I'm, oh, I'm so hot. Someone said I sound like a teenager. How old am I? I'm 24. Not a teenager. No, a little no. older. Oh, I'm with a teenager. <laughs> be nice. <laughs> well, that's not being mean. <laughs> Miss Susan said you, you should better never enjoy ask it. someone. Enjoy it while you can. So anyway, so that's today's happy. Glad y'all were here with us. Hopefully everyone's safe today. And we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. Bye.